Welcome back, water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Uh, you don't have to be a water sign for this read to resonate with you. If it found you, it just may be for you. All right. Know that tarot is for entertainment purposes and also to give you some clarity to your situation. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. Place you, place yourself where you need to place yourself. You have to be 18 years or older to watch my reads. I do talk a little dirty, so if you get offended by dirty talk or sexy cards, just find your way out of the read. Uh, come again another day, no hard feelings. Personal reads can be booked over on Venmo, Jesse Ray 21. Please add your profile picture, zodiac sign, and questions you'd like most clarity on. And uh, I also have a website, rootsandrewards.com, uh, for all the merch. I do healing intention candles, uh, cord cutting, uh, and there's a lot of merch over there. We have a new shirt, sexy time shirt, if anybody's interested. They are made to order. So these are 30 with free shipping. And we also have the, the new sexy time oracle deck. Sexy messages from your person, which is 40 free shipping over on my website it's finally up so it's divine masculine divine feminine energy every other card black and white with dirty talk on them all right so enough with the intro here let's see what's going on water signs i think shit's gonna start popping off for you how the palo santo started uh burning it was like flickering so you might be getting some good energy coming into you. Coming into you. Okay, I see you. <laughs> All right. We're already starting sexy time, water signs. We a little horny. Are you guys horn dogs? You're in a horny phase. All right, well, we shall see, won't we? <laughs> All right, so what's going on with this person? What's going on with the water sign? What's coming into the water sign? Listen, wrap that shit. Protect your shit. <laughs> if you're doing the dirty. All right, especially if you don't want to get pregnant. I definitely see um, coming in uh, is standing out. So make sure you're not trying to get someone uh, pregnant if you don't want them to be pregnant or you to them. Um, them to you. All right. So this is a little odd. This could be the one came out. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So this person's already around you. You already know this person. But then there's another person here. Either there's another person that you feel that you have unrequited love with that there's not enough traction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. All right. So this could be two people for some of you. It's a collective read. Not everything's for you, right? Or this could just be that you feel that this person could be the person for you, but you don't feel like they feel the same for you. So they're not showing you as much as uh, you would like them to show. All right. 
So I'm getting a little bit of fear here. Maybe you feel fear that you're going to be rejected by this person. That they aren't digging you the way that you're digging them. All right. Let's see. Passion, though. All right. So there is passion between the two of you guys. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So maybe don't look too much ahead. Future, you know. Maybe you're thinking, let's get married. You know, you want to get married, you want to settle down, you want to have kids. When you really should be just focusing on the passion and the good times and the comfort that this person is going to be giving you. So you're wanting to get close to this person. Definitely wanting to get close to them and um, get some intimate moments going. Anything else? make the effort all right so you may want this person to make more of an effort towards you uh which they may not be making enough effort to your liking all right great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so i feel like this is feeling kind of like a childlike connection between the two of you I'm feeling it's like a very innocent connection between the two. You both have this, this sweetness, innocence about you, trying to maybe tiptoe, tippy toe around the topic, like doing a little dance with this person, not really knowing exactly how to come in and, you know, get close to them and hug on them. So you're both feeling that you may not be mature possibly or mature enough for this connection. It feels like lighthearted energy. You could be very young, you know, you could be young energy or just be vibrant in your energy. Oh, I like it. This person just wants to scoop you up and hold you tight. Wanting to be close to you. Want to be near you. Definitely wanting to touch you. So this unrequited love bullshit card. I think this is your subconscious. You're just doubting. You're doubting the uh connection or your person is doubting the connection like oh is this too good to be true should i put the effort into this person i have a lot of passion this could be the one you know you could have a substantial relationship with this person but in your head in your person's head it's like hmm, i'm not too sure all right so let's see with the tarot. That was a lot of information with only four cards. Yeah, you feel that this person's not going to commit to you. They're not going to balance. Be It's not going to be a balanced relationship. I just saw the, the, the justice card. It could be a Libra that you're dealing with. And I saw the Hierophant. It could be a Taurus. But in reverse. So these are fears that you have. Is this person going to be able to commit? Is there long term? Is it gonna be a balanced connection? So I don't know what's making you so fearful of this person not putting in enough effort for you. So you are here waiting for your ships to come in. You're trying to stay as relaxed as possible in your own energy, allowing things to flow into you, sail into you. Your person could like uh, boats or being on the water, or maybe this is you. Maybe you live by the ocean or a body of water. Your ships are coming in. Happiness is here for the taking. So there's no reason to stress and worry and become overly emotional all right just staying calm and relaxed 
All right, patience, yes. That's what you're needing right now. Just be patient, allow the connection to unravel naturally. Instead of being up in your head saying, okay, this person said this. What did they mean by that? Did they mean that? You know, to putting too much emphasis on the outcome and what every word this person says to you, holding on to every single word, and then you throw yourself up in your own head and you become indecisive and you're like, ah, you're stopping it. You stop the connection or this is what your person is doing. There's an abrupt stop, stop and go energy I'm feeling. So maybe that's why you feel that it's unrequited because there's constantly like swords or, um, The communication, you kind of, how do I put it? Lost in translation. You could both, you could speak different languages here too with that. It could be from different um, ethnic, ethnicities different backgrounds but I feel like something with communication or you're harping on what are you doing water signs you're picking you're picking at this person because you're not very hopeful all right so you're like you're sabotaging yourself from your emotional fulfillment, your happiness, your overflowing emotions, your good feeling emotions. This person looks like they want to celebrate with you. They want to have a good time. They want to, you know, share feelings, go out, enjoy one another. And I think if you just, you know, settle down a little bit and be patient and be calm and be flowy, all right? You're a water sign, learn how to flow. I think you're gonna be pretty happy with what this person has to offer you. See, so put down those guards a little bit and jack up your, your self-esteem. All right, so three of wands, three of wands. You could already have children or they could already have children, two children, a boy and a girl. Could be a Capricorn, could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with, or a fellow water sign. So you're turning your back away from toxic people, toxic situations, and being toxic within your own mindset. With the devil in reverse. So that's good. You're releasing the bondage of old ways, old people, old environments. You're, you're walking on. You're, you have your sights on something different now temperance because you have patience you had a patience with this past person you had patience you waited for this past person to show up and give you an offer and um, come in and give you reconciliation you waited you would juggle in back and forth should I stay should I go should I release should I still put effort you're not doing it anymore with this past individual. This four cups is in reverse. No longer being patient and waiting for the past to sneak back up to you. You're just like, you're over that Sagittarius. <laughs> That's it. You're over that person. You know you're too good. You're too good of a person to sit down and wait for a person that can't give you that love. So that past person, see that other person, that could be your unrequited love person that you were waiting on. And that's what was holding you back from this true connection coming towards you, being stuck in toxic cycles with past people. All right, so two of swords. So you're indecisive if you, this person's gonna really give you good times. Maybe you're indecisive about this per I just saw 1444. That seems like a pretty good number. Go look that up on Google. Maybe some messages there for you. 
I think you're you're a little fearful of this person being like the past person, holding back celebrations, not coming in. Um, you kind of feel like this person, I just saw 15, 15. You feel like this person may hold back from expressing their feelings for you or just be too uh, smug, all right? too smug in their energy so maybe this person is coming off pretty confident and uh i just heard juvenile all right with that that childlike like juvenile all right all right, all right. so you, you may be a little fearful that this person's maturity isn't there as far as relationships they're emotionally immature so that's why you kind of like eh should I stay or should I go? Should I give this person a shot? All right, three of cups. So three of cups. Ooh, all right. So this person thinks you're a fucking sexy ass person. You're sexy. You're driven. You you don't play no games. Might have a lot of suitors. Could have been involved in a third party situation. Doesn't have to be. This could just be that a lot of people are trying to grab at you. They're wanting time spent with you because they see that you're this, um, up and coming. I just heard celebrity. I heard celebrity. You may be a celebrity. You may be a celebrity in your own right. Maybe not celebrity celebrity, but maybe you're just very well known in your community in your school in your work and people are just wanting to come at you and spend time with you so i see a lot of happiness coming in you are there slightly guarded but you have to be you have to be when you're dealing with energies you have to you have to guard you have to put your boundaries up you might have a little cute little cocker spaniel dog too Right. You might like dogs. Your person may like dogs. Um, somebody likes magenta wildflowers. They're pretty. Magenta might be your favorite color. You may, may wear red a lot. <clears throat> All right. So... All right, so you're trying to keep your eye on yourself. You're trying to um, not come off very overly emotional with the Queen of Cups in reverse. All right, so you don't want to be overly emotional or uh, overly invest in this person. So I think you guys are pulling back your emotions, which I think is good. I think it's good. Don't get ahead of yourself, right? Don't jump in too quickly. Don't, you know, get emotionally attached to a person that... You're a little bit, you know, iffy about, right? Iffy about. Oh, all right. So you fear, you fear of um, tower moments. All right. So the devil. So you're just here chilling, chilling, chilling. What are you having a hard time? Yeah, you're having a hard time making a judgment call, whether to give this person your time and effort. Judgment is in reverse. I don't feel like you have to make a decision right now, though. Embrace the moment. Be in the present moment with this person. Whatever they're showing you, you deal with it that day. The day that you have, you deal with it day by day. I know we get very caught up in past situations, future situations, but nothing, that shit doesn't exist yet. So there is no judgment call. The only judgment call you have is, today, do I want to talk to this person? Do I want to fuck this person today? Yes or no? <laughs> yes or no? And release it. All right? You want to talk to this person? Talk to them. Embrace them for that day. You don't have to jump through hoops. You don't have to 
do any of that. You're putting your defense down. You're putting your guards down a little bit. Yeah, I think you guys may have been worried about, you know, gossip, a lot of people talking. I think you're laying that down. You're not feeding into the gossip and the bullshit, all right? The immaturity that people have. You know, everybody's going to talk, but nobody knows the truth. The truth. Only the people that people are talking about know the truth. People always are trying to project onto us, all right? Understanding that people are projecting because of their insecurities and um, their intimidation, all right? Slightly intimidated by what they're seeing, so they have to run their mouths. Just a little side note for you. Okay, so indecisive, you're afraid this person is a little smug, you you fear that this person, the communication right here, Knight of, Knight of uh, Swords, you feel like this person doesn't communicate correctly with you. There's always something going on with the communication. So speaking in rhymes, that's how I'm feeling. You don't like the communication that this person gives you sometimes. You feel like they try to uh, blind you, blindfold you to something, that they're hiding something, they're masking something from you. All right. Well, if you feel that way, if that's what your gut is telling you, you're probably right. So listen to your gut. Listen to your gut. All right, so the Queen of Wands, but I feel like you're looking good, and you're going to start feeling good. Oh, what the fuck is that about? What's that about? This is, this is you overthinking things. That's what the fuck this is about. You got all this good shit. You got all these people trying to grab at your, your luscious body. Not even just lovers here. I see a lot of people, friends, acquaintances, business, other business owners. They're wanting to work with you and get you involved in projects. This is you. You look damn good to the outside. You look like you got your shit together from the outside. This is how people are looking at you. And this is what you're going to start feeling. But I feel like right now, you guys are getting so much in your fucking head. And you're laying down to your thoughts, to the criticism of other people, judgment of self, feeling ego, you know, you being in your ego and you feeling that you're not good, in, good enough, or you feeling intimidated, are you feeling victim to your situation. You have to get out of this. Swords. Feeling betrayed. Lack. This lack. You're not in fucking lack. Understand that. You're not in lack. Whatever universe is giving you to deal with right now, it is launching you into prosperity, into for, uh, feeling fulfillment. All right? So this is just in your head. You're overthinking things. Change up your mindset change your perspective you're not in lack you're abundant say your positive affirmations i am abundant i am blessed i am worthy i am rich live life the way you're wanting it to be in the reality in in the this realm So you may want to talk to someone. You may want to, you may want to book a read with me. You may want to, you know, sign up for some counseling, therapy. If you can't get yourself out of this, this lack energy. You feeling like nothing is going your way. You being down on your knees crying and, and feeling that you're not good enough. Being regretful of, you know past situations feeling that you know you're not enough i just feel like you guys are feeling that you're not good enough for this person and you fucking are you are good enough 
for this person or whoever else is coming into the picture. So I feel like you're trying to pull yourself out of this emotional overthinking. See, that wheel of fortune turning in your fucking favor. You have abundance coming in. You, you were in a dark place for a little bit. Maybe a lot of it. But Wheel of Fortune is going in your favor. You have abundance coming here. Things are changing. Things are changing. Wait, what was that other card that came out? Oh, I put it back in. Yeah, things are going to start changing because you're stepping up to the plate for yourself. You're seeing that you're strong. You're seeing that you're resilient no matter what is being thrown at you. You're coming out stronger in the end. Yeah, you had a lot of burden. You had a lot of responsibility. You had the weight of the world on you. But this hard work that you're doing right now, your spiritual awakening, you working hard towards your goals, towards your abundance, towards your career, it's paying off. It is paying off for you because you're going to feel valued. You're going to be feeling validated by the hard work that you're putting forth to gain your abundance. That heaviness, it's gone. It's, it's, we're putting it down. We're putting it face down because it doesn't exist anymore. You're saying, I'm not going to allow this energy to dictate my life anymore. You're not going to be burdened by people that continuously put swords in your back, leave you lack, leaving you burden, keeping you in the clouds. No, no more. So we're putting those shits, we're putting it down, put it down, put the burden down. All right, so what about, so this person's coming in with an emotional offer. I saw the Knight of uh, Knight of Cups. So rushing in with messages of feelings, you know, exchanging. Nice communication with one another. Somebody, yeah, this, this magician just keeps wanting to pop out. I saw it like three times. So you're turning into this magician. You're manipulating your energy in your favor. You're opening up your heart. You're balancing your chakras out and you're getting everything that you're wanting, your passion, your emotional fulfillment, a clear mind. You could be doing some energy work here. You could be getting some energy work done, maybe some Reiki, going for Reiki may benefit you, or you just, um, I feel like fire, fire. You're playing with fire. Maybe that's the, the sparks that I saw. So maybe I um, tried to do some fire magic. So there might be a, a fire sign, Leo Aries Sag, that is taking action towards you. This person's taking action. This person is manifesting action and movement. Movement with your ass. Yeah, past person couldn't give you emotional fulfillment. All they did was give you conflict. Always giving you conflict. So this person, this person's rushing in. This Knight of Cups that I saw earlier. This person is coming in with good feel energy. They're not bringing conflict. They're not going to have you in competition. So this person's a single person. Single energy. Oh, wow. I'm hyped up for you guys. It's looking damn good. Let's see what's going on with this person coming in. Could be a fellow water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Let's see what, what this person's bringing in for you. Let's go to my sexy time Oracle deck. Let's see what they want to do to you. <laughs> okay. They're childlike, so let's see if they're really like, they're experienced in the bed or not. They may not be that experienced due to their age or, you know, that emotional immaturity. But we're going to see how it's going to go down in the bedroom with this person. 
You make me so hard. Mm. All right. So you may already know that you make this person hard. You see. You see. You feel. You, you know, you grab up on this person. You feel. Yeah. You feel what's up. You know? <laughs> I think, yeah. Yeah. You definitely. Definitely. You've, um stroked up on this person previously or you're heading towards there all right nice and slow all right so when you do get in the bed with this person they want you to take it nice and slow with them they want to embrace the moment with you um, they want to feel your energy just light them up they want to light you up oh shit nice and slow this could be the one so they're taking it nice and slow with you they're building the relationship with you and they want to make sure that you're both going to get pleased in this relationship. Hmm. Look in my eyes. All right. So this person you see through this person. You see this person's soul. No matter what their exterior is, you look at this person in the eyes and you guys just see each other. Not the appearance, but the soul. And that's why this person may say, you know, they may say, look in my eyes. Look in my eyes. To make you understand them better. Oh, it's precious. I like this person. I love these cards. They make me so happy. <laughs> this person's gonna make you happy. Anything else? Time me up. All right, so they're not that innocent as they project to be. Lick the tip. Time me up and lick the tip. So this person definitely likes to be teased. I think their tip is real sensitive. You may be sucking on this person like a lollipop. Maybe the clitoris is super sensitive. I want to be tied up though and have you taken advantage of them. <laughs> All right. All right, enough. Enough. Let's see, sexy time. Real quickie. We want a quickie. A little bit of foreplay for you. Let's get it get a little foreplay for you. Oh, that one came out. Yep, King of Wands and King of Action. This person takes action to come in and embrace you. All right, with that attraction, you may, this person might have real nice looking ass. Or you. They want to scoop you up and grab your ass. They want to hug on you. I'm glad this person's showing up as a king. Knight of Cups, there, there they are. They're a little, they're a little distant from you, not too much. They're a little distant from you, but they're seeing you. They're seeing you as innocent and seeing that you're ready. You're ready for emotional connection here. Queen of Swords. They know that you have some boundaries up. You don't deal with shit. You'll, you'll cut a bitch off if you ain't feeling it. This person's going to try to romance you, bring you flowers, sit by you, listen to you, bring you a cup of tea, you know, give you a massage, like get some massage oil, and they'll 
They'll lube you up. Mm -hmm. You may be fanning yourself down a little bit with this person's sexual energy, or they're trying to like keep back. I think, uh, all right, so I see a pin cushion here. I think uh, some people are trying to poke and pry into your shit. I do. I think they're trying to poke and pry into your shit. They see that you're going towards something real nice for your life and they, they're jealous of it. Eh, but don't matter. They're outsiders. They don't live your life, so it doesn't fucking matter. Two of wands in reverse. So not being at a crossroads. So it's going to become very clear to you that this connection is able to uh, move forward. Somebody might like to stroke your cock with their feet, or you like them to do that to you. You could have a foot fetish. Right. So someone fears that you you may be connected to someone else already, or maybe you feel fear that this person's connected to somebody else, but I feel like this is just conflict, mental conflict that you have with the five of wands. Somebody's watching. Somebody is watching from the outside, seeing that you're getting close and you're getting intimate and you, you know, you're spending time with someone else and not them. So that could be that past person that couldn't show up for you the way that you wanted them to. So there you are. You're waiting for those ships to come in, that happiness to come in, moving forward, possibly changing location. You like you may like to wear like garter belts. Your person may be very like laid back. Um, they don't dress up too much. They're like very you know nonchalant individual, very basic, very simple. Oh, they see you as a star, though. What did I say? They see you as a star. They see that you're probably healing from past uh, past emotions that were spilt out. Somebody wants to come all over your chest. Hmm. All right. Be dealing with an Aquarius. I feel like there's a lot of romance. Not not so much lust energy. This is like romantic. Yeah, romantic. Queen of Cups. They see that you you know you're you're out to please people. You're a people pleaser. You're out to help people. They like your nurturing side. They like that you embrace them. You may play a bigger role in this person's life than you think you do. I think you are very either motherly to this person or fatherly to this person. You make them feel um, a little unsteady, but in a good way. They they can put their guards down with you. I don't like they could show vulnerability with you. So that kind of feels like childlike. Like you know when you you're young and you get your first boyfriend in school. You're just like, okay, let's play, you know, marbles or whatever. It's it's very, very innocent, very nice. And I think this person really needs someone to be there for them like that. And that's what they're liking about you. You're, you know, you put them to your chest and say, everything is all right. Everything's okay. I understand. I understand you. I get you. Oh, right. And there's the effort. Two of Pentacles. I don't feel like this person has someone else at the moment. I don't feel like they are juggling you and someone else. They're very decisive that they want to come in and, and scoop you up and hold you. They want a hug from you. 
Um, I think they know that there's happiness here, that it could be a happy partnership. They know that you would be a good ass ride, that they could ride you through the night. You could be, you could be in the swingers scene with the swing in this picture. You could be in the swingers scene. But there is just two people in here. There is just two people here. This person likes to turn you around and pound you. <laughs> Go to pound town from behind. All right. All right. So you got a good connection coming in. So don't stress it. Don't worry about it. Let's see. Messages from your person. This could be a totally new person. Remember? It feels like it. it definitely feels like it. All right. So what your person would like to say that they're unable to say. This is my love me, love me not oracle deck. It's available on rootsandrewards.com for 30 with free shipping. If this read is resonating with you, feel free to donate to my channel. I do appreciate and accept donations. I also have an Amazon wish list on my Linktree link uh, below. Uh, there's a bunch of cards and stuff on there um, to help the channel. All the donations, they go back into the channel for your viewing pleasure for new cards, crystals, sage and stuff. Okay, so you're walking away from that past relationship that you felt was unrequited love because you're knowing, now you're knowing that this connection, you weren't meant for each other. This new person, on the other hand, is saying, I can't stop thinking about you. Can't stop thinking about you. That fell over the Four of Wands. So that's the new relationship that's coming in. So you're on someone's mind 24-7. They're going to cherish you, this person. I feel like they are going to romance you. <laughs> they look at you as their queen. So they're going to take your hand. Like in these pictures right here, this man, it doesn't have to be a man. But in these pictures, it's men that are reaching out to their queen or their princess. And this person may even like grab your hand and you have a special moment while you're holding hands or grab your hand and kiss your hand. They could be known for that or that's what they're going to be doing. They, they're grabbing your hand. So touch, they wanna to touch you and bring you close to them. See all the hands? Like my damn, my damn, my damn. You could be going to a historical, um, a historical structure or a castle like place with this person, like a, going to a ball, maybe a party for Halloween. You guys are going to dress up as, um, like colonial time. Very fancy. Fancy, fancy. Oh, I love you. Oh, shit. Alright, so this person's gonna fall in love real quick with your ass. I'll take it. <laughs> good. Alright, it's looking good, guys. So, let's see. Self-care. Self-care it up. And then I get you out of here. Alright, what you could do to help higher your frequency. If you're interested in the chakra healing alignment, chakra candle healing alignment, it's 25 for the 7. And you could um, read the description on my website about that. I also do cord cutting. And I have the other shirts available. The uh, Roots and Rewards ones. I'm limited on the green. And uh, the men's. The men's looks like this. But in the front with the big tree. And no heart. Instead there's Roots and Rewards on the sleeve for the guys. And those are uh, 30. Free shipping. Okay. So self-care. Spend some time with your friends. Go out. Have a good time. Mingle. 
Sometimes you need to just shoot the shit with your friends. Also cleanse yourself. Make sure that you're relaxing, taking a deep breath, soaking in the bath, putting some incense on, lighting some candles, mad bubbles, you know, just romance yourself a little bit. And abundance planning. Write down what you're looking to come in the future regarding not only your love. All right, let's get it straight. Not only love is going to bring happiness to your life, you being abundant, you getting creative, you getting, um, putting your, got, putting yourself in your uh, workplace, um, sharing your talents, writing poetry maybe. Maybe you're a writer. Maybe you need to write. Maybe you need to read a little bit more. But writing down what you're wanting to come in the next couple of months, but not just love. What can you fix about yourself to make yourself feel better? All right. And that's what I got for you guys. Hope the read gave you some clarity to your situation. I do appreciate all the likes, donations, bookings, and kind words you give me on a daily basis. You guys don't realize how much I do appreciate you guys. Um, so just continue to keep yourself in high regard. And uh, Air Signs is going to be up next. Sorry for the delays in the fucking reads. Sorry. Sorry for the delays. My Wi-Fi is going to shit. I don't know what's going on with it. Supposedly the freaking cable company is being sued um, due to all the fucking bullshit with the Wi-Fi. Uh, so just be patient with me getting your reads. I am working down my read list. So just be patient, all right? And I'm having little issues with the phone and stuff. But it's all good. It'll figure it out. The reads will be going out. And that is it, all right? I'll see you guys later.